Hello, everybody, and Hello. welcome to a lovely Elite Dangerous live stream. It's a lovely one. It's a lovely one. Uh, yeah. I am Will, community manager here at Frontier Developments, and tonight I'm joined by video artist, artist, artist. Luke Ritson. Hello. Good Say morning. hello to Luke Ritson, everyone. Is this your first Elite Dangerous live stream? First Elite one, yes. First Elite Dangerous live stream for Luke, so everybody be nice and friendly. And also, hello to you, because we didn't have a live stream on Monday, so we didn't have the opportunity opportunity to talk and say hello. So hello, Commanders. I hope all is well. I um, hope you've had a good week so far. Tonight's live stream, as we didn't have a Let's Play on Monday, mm -hmm. I've decided to take over the Thursday live stream with a Let's Play. We're going to just have some good old-fashioned chats. Mm -hmm. Jumping, scooping, yep. scanning. Yep. That's tonight's live stream. Uh, right. And of course, we're going to um, talk to this guy about what he does at Frontier Developments, because people might not know. Right. You, you know, you never know. We reference you a lot. Yeah, oh, right. Here and there on streams. Uh -huh. Uh, Luke fixed this. Luke, this animation's broken. I do fix things. Luke, the lights turn the wrong way. Mm -hmm. uh, audio is not working. Yep. So we rely on Luke a lot for those kind of things. Mm -hmm. um, so we're gonna. I'm gonna dive in because I've got loads of jumps to do. Still, I'm leaving. I've left Beagle Point ages ago, and now I'm on my way back. Well, to Explorers Anchorage, because when I get to Explorers Anchorage, I will be elite in exploration. Congratulations. I will have made it to. Uh, apparently, dabs aren't cool anymore. They never were. Um, so, everybody, if you have questions for Luke, I'm going to grill him too. But if you have any questions, you should ask them. Please, yes. Anything regarding video, trailers, yeah, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, there are only. Yeah, you won't be able to sort of talk about the, the deep kind of game design decision between behind Luke Dangerous. I'm afraid not, no. But, but we can talk about movies. how we. How we make stuff. How we make things. Yeah. So, why don't you, Luke, tell me what you do at um, Frontier Developments? Because I've never met you before. You never met? Oh, I yes. I don't know who you are. Hi, I'm Luke. Uh, and uh, I'm a video artist, senior video artist. I put together just about everything that moves that goes to the public eye, in a way. Just yeah. like all the video stuff, trailers. I help to put together the technical side of the live streams as well as some of the background details, even the, even the starting soon screen that you just saw just there, mm. the titles, all kinds of stuff like that. We we'll help to build all that and, we, and then we um, pass on to you guys and, and you guys do your streams. We do the streams, yeah, yeah. we make it look great. So, yeah. No, it already looks great, we yeah. just enhance it mm. with our faces. That's it. Um, but we had some cool questions here. I'm going to try and pick them out while trying to navigate this. Of course. Um, I am ready. Are you ready? Yes. So if you do have questions for Luke about what he does um, mm -hmm. and, and some of the trailers we've done, there's, there's some questions here. Um, what's your favorite video that you've made? That I've made. That you've made. So you've worked on, you've worked on all the titles. I've worked on Elite, I've worked on Planet Coaster and Jurassic World Evolution. Um, so, favorite, favorite video, video I've made. Uh, so It has to be an Elite one, no, I'm joking. <laughs> Whatever you like. Uh, my favorite Elite one I've made, um, well, the favourite thing I have done for Elite was uh, back when we did the engineers, we did this fun little logo for the engineers. That was. Uh, so you animated the. The logo, the way the engineers the together. That's cool. That was cool, yeah. Um, the Commander Chronicles are awesomeness defined. There you that's, go. That's cool, thanks, dude. Um, uh, those are. That's the support of the uh, Creative Services team and of the Elite Dangerous. Um, we've also got. Uh, is scanning not called honking anymore? I mean, you still honk, and you, know, you get get what you need from the honk, but we could go into uh, more detail. Uh, there was something else. There was actually a nice comment that I saw. Um, not that there isn't normally. Sure. Just oh, I didn't, before I, someone clicked me. I didn't me. really answer the question. You didn't. What the is question. it? What My is favorite the... video. Okay, there's there's two that I really like. One's silly. One's like, yeah, I really like that. I did this. Uh, the first one is the coaster crashes video for the planet coaster. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that one was a lot of fun to make. It was very silly. I just sat with John Laws and put that together very quickly, and it was a bit of bit of tongue in cheek because we knew fans really liked Coaster Crashes in previous games and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But the video itself was very fun, and it was very jovial and lighthearted. Yeah, so it was quite very nice good. To work on that. Yeah, and then I guess like Classic World's launch trailer, which is just cool. So, yeah, you were got to sort of work with like you know Jeff Goldblum's VO and stuff like that, and then we did. Dr. Wu, which had BD 
voiceover in it. So it's you, really, really cool. Did you ever get tired of hearing the same voice from Jeff oh, Goldblum? Jeff's in it? silky smooth voice. Just never get tired never. of it. Never get, get tired, tired of it. Of it. Um, <laughs> here we've got a lovely uh, comment here from Funky Pixie on Twitch. Personally, I think the trailers look amazing. Oh, thank you very much. Okay. So yeah, how do you make pancakes? Uh, oh no. From spatula zero zero seven. Eggs, milk, flour. Goodness. That's how you make them. I yeah, guess. yeah. Um, Love, tenderness, and care. What else have we got? Are the trailers rendered from in-engine gameplay? Somewhat how Valve use Source will make it. Uh, yes, they are actually. So everything is essentially designed and then imported via a cinematic tool that we have. But it all uses the in-game assets to build those things, especially the worlds. We even find locations in-game that can help us build those trailers to make them look super accurate and improved. Um, oh, here we go. The, loop, the, the ships in the videos, are they flown by people or scripted to move the way you move? It's a mixture of the two. So we do design shots based on a cinematic view, so we wouldn't be able to always basically queue up so many players at the same time yeah. to do that. Though we have the multiplayer capture where we've got about, like I think a maximum at one point, like six people all wow. together sitting next to each other to get multiplayer gameplay capture. And that way you can actually design shots from cockpit view, from other kind of areas in the game, where everyone's actually in synchronization and pushing towards an objective. Does that take a lot of It takes uh, a rehearsal. lot of time, it takes, <laughs> yeah. it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of crashing, <laughs> it takes a lot of people sort of bumping into each other, or the lining isn't just right. Um, my favourite is just like people in uh, buggies going off, and then some guy just maybe just hits a jump at accident, and they're just going to go. Oh, You've that's ruined it. the that's shot. It. I'm just, <laughs> we're just crashed and careened into something oh. else. Um, so many, many attempts to get those right, but when they do go right and they look great, mm. then it really pays off, especially for elite as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yes, sometimes we do do have um, sort of scripted moments where we have animators help us do that because. Those cinematic parts, they, they really do need a bit of extra love and care from, yeah, from yeah. the animation team. There you go. It's, be it's a beautiful, beautiful game. Thank you, Luke, for making it beautiful. Thanks. I don't think I, I, don't think I personally <laughs> make it beautiful, but uh, the, the rest of the talented artists and everyone else is definitely making it so Duncan Laura asks, is the stream intro a render or an actual in-game capture? I think is it is the stream well? intro a render or actual in-game capture? It's a mixture of cinematic and in-game capture. Yeah. Yeah. And we do use Blender, I don't think. You do or don't, don't? You don't use Blender. Did I say it like doot? Do we do, we do, 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 we do, do use Blender. Blender. Um, there's a lot of questions, so I'm going to just kind of yeah, yeah. focus on flying. Uh, if you see any that feel... Is that Dan Deacon? Is that for you? No, is that something Where? Else? Where? Is that Dan Deacon? <laughs> oh, I don't know who Dan I Deacon is. I thought that was is. a relevant question. <laughs> um, do you use in-game footage or mostly... Oh, here we go. That one already. Sorry, guys. Uh, we have used cinematic shorts for Horizons and the other part beyond. They were really cool. Is there any chance of any more of them? Uh, TBD on that one, guys. Yeah. Um, I do not have the answer. I do not have, do the, have the answer. Those, I'm Can't answer about anything that's not announced that's or not right. coming yet. Okay, um, so. Nope, that is Luke Ritson. Uh, by the way, I forgot to mention. Is it someone's asked to turn the game volume down a little bit? Maybe. Uh, yeah, I can do that right here. The power, the power of this. So, um, what is quite uh, helpful is when things go technically wrong, which they haven't touched wood for quite a while for me, because mm -hmm. I'm I'm the king of touching something and it breaks. Uh, but usually we call in Luke to help us if that things go wrong. You're also responsible not just for the, not just for the. Um, the visual assets that go out the videos mm -hmm. and, and as part of that as a team, but you also help us with uh, light direction of the yeah, lights. Yeah, so yeah, so the design of the set. Yeah. Um, that was the initial concept we came up with, uh, Ed, way back in the day, yeah. and then, um, but then the technical side of all of this. So pretty much every wire, cable, monitor, and camera and light in this room mm -hmm. for the for the big wide streams put that together. Um, and then designs some of the systems that work in play for sort of motion graphics and overlays and nice little transitions in and out and stuff like how background and stuff like that in the, in the wider sort of like large setup streams like Frontier Extra or some of the large release streams. So, <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, for the most part, it's a lot of technical uh, little details that help these things come together. It's like the cameras we're using right now and yeah, all you've, you've advised us on the right tech to use yep. and, all, and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I, I haven't mentioned about the Insta initiatives, but the results are out 
naturally of the CG. So you can go and find them on the forum, but we've got the advanced multi cannon that's there available. Um, but there's loads of awesome, interesting questions. There was films by Nick. Uh, so you hooked Dan Deacon, apparently. <laughs> you a little bit. Dan Deacon has a really good beard, though. Yeah, he has a great beard. Um, You've got like similar eyes. Similar eyes? Cheek. I don't, I'm not seeing it, pal. <laughs> anyway, Dan Deacon. That's Dan Deacon. Uh, yeah. Films by Nick. You will like this guy because uh, he is a video artist uh, here at Frontier Development. Which means I film things. You film things. Yeah. Um, will, can you lower that game audio? Is it still high? Oh, we're quite back in time here. Yep. I'm going to jump ahead, but mm -hmm. if you haven't, if we haven't answered your question, and you're still Someone curious. asked in all caps, how do I animate lips? Very difficultly. Difficultly. Um, yeah, very difficultly. That's all right. <laughs> is that all right? That's a word, isn't it? Difficult. With great difficulty. T. That's what I wanted to say. Um, <laughs> <laughs> difficultly. Uh, yeah, yeah. So how did I get into this field of work? Uh, so mm. I um, initially started working sort of in the TV, film, and ad industry in London for a long time as a freelancer and such. Mm -hmm. And then I took a very keen interest in video games, always had an interest in video games. Uh, I started a little YouTube channel just to kind of test out my uh, ability to make sort of fun little game trailers and stuff, did little cinematic bits and pieces, mm -hmm. and then um, eventually just kind of went for a little interview with Frontier. They were looking for someone in that kind of field to help them make their, their internal videos and trailers and all that kind of stuff. And then one day, I had a little chat with John Laws here, and, so, yeah. and then four years later, I'm still here. You're checking. You're checking. checking. You're yeah, still yeah. here. I'm still, I'm still here. You've got the heart yeah. monitor on that. Yeah. I'm still alive. Uh, fun fact, everybody. Luke started on the same day as Don Antonacci. We did. We both were in the same room looking kind of nervously at each other. <laughs> and then it's been all go. sunshine and rainbows ever since. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, do we use motion capture for videos with human actions? Uh, occasionally, we have uh, dabbled in this. We have done lots of tests with motion capture. Uh, we do find that keyframe animation still looks great, and by the um, by the time you've kind of got a lot of motion capture ingested into the game, or into the into the artist tools, um, we often do a lot of keyframe cleanup anyway. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a little bit of best of both worlds. If we think it works for us, we'll go for it. But if not, it's usually a lot of keyframe and sort of just animators being very good at their job. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, uh, Luke and Anton actually are Frontier Twins. Yes, yeah, we yeah, are. Frontier Twins. I'm so pretty sure that's what Zach actually calls us. Work Twins, he calls us. Work actually. Twins? Yeah, yeah, he does. Wow. Yeah, yeah. You look very similar. Yeah. You look nothing alike. Nothing like, like nothing alike. Um, what are your best moments while working in Frontier? Says Game Watcher 101 and Mixer. Best moments. OK. Um, All of them. You've got to list every single one every before single you're, great al moment. you're allowed to leave the live stream tonight. Um, wow. So I was here around the time that Horizons launched, and that was just a very exciting time because that was possibly the first thing we launched. Mm -hmm. um, but then there was like Planet Coaster and all that stuff, and I got into Frontier around the time that, that was all kicking up, really sort of building up into a big, a big deal. Yeah. But then working all the Jurassic stuff, like yeah, I, you, which is where you're kind of situated at the minute, I would say. I'd right? say so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and just sort of being a part of that which is something very special to me as a child. So to be able to just kind of work on a game that sort of meant a lot to a lot of people here and a lot of the fans was really, really special, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also Frontier um, Expo. Frontier Expo, 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 yeah. Expo was a really, really lovely time. It child. was really I lovely missed. to kind of interact with the fans. I think it was really important, actually, for the devs to actually meet people other than the community team. The community team always passes on that they were yeah, the... Um, the public's always very lovely with comments and everything. Mm -hmm. and to actually kind of get go there, talk to people yourself. It did a lot for people's like, like perspective mm -hmm. and just in terms of how much people really care. And I think it was really, really nice to see. And I think I had a moment where I met, I was filming people around Frontier Expo. Mm -hmm. And a couple came up to me and was like, oh, you know, are you filming for the round? I was like, yeah, yeah. So I explained what it was. I explained that I put together lots, pretty, pretty much everything Planet Coaster up until that point. And then they said that they were using Planet Coaster videos to simply um, relax at night. They were just wow. putting those yeah. videos to chill. And I was like, that's really sweet. And Something then, you've created. Yeah. As, as, yeah. That was really cool. Uh, and yeah, and it's always lovely to hear people's feedback on all the trailers and all the videos we put out. And 
yeah, just just in general, it's just been really lovely to work with. And also, it's just such a diverse set of games to play with in terms of making videos. For. Yeah, all different as well yeah. in terms of, of yeah. kind of the themes. And so it kind of tickles different parts of your brain every yeah. time you make something. So, uh, like a link to you know, like space and sci-fi, it's yes. quite serious, but it's still quite fun. And then you've got Jurassic, which is just like epic. Yeah. And then you've got like the kind of the whimsical side, which is more Planet Coaster, Planet Zoo. Yeah. So yeah. Really cool. Which we're, at, we're now allowed to say. Planet we're now allowed to say Planet Zoo, yeah. yeah. This is great. It's great. It's Lovely. looking real good, too. Um, and yeah, you'll probably hear us now and then mm -hmm. uh, shout to Luke off, off camera when we do our um, Frontier Extra shows, when we do our sort of larger live streams, we're on the sofa, studio setup. Um, if it's not one of us on the, on the uh, editing suite or whatever it is, live mm -hmm. editing suite. Uh, it might be this guy. Sure. So yeah. this is the face. We've put him, taken you out from behind the camera. I know, and I'll, they put my face that looks like someone else apparently. Dan Deacon. Dan Deacon. Yeah. Dan Deacon. Uh, my Dan, Dan Deacon-like face. Someone's asked, how do we approach a new video when we start to create a new video? Mm. So we do, we put a lot of prep into these videos. We talk a lot with the dev team. We have approach a lot of the art directors. So for example, on Elite, that'll be Chris Gregory or mm -hmm on Planet Coaster, that would be like someone like Sam Denny. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a lot of back and forth with Dev in terms of what makes these things tick, what makes these things, these new features, other things like that really, really shine. And then we spend a lot of time then plotting out perhaps a story beat for that thing, or just in terms of like how we can best show the game in its best light, basically. And then from there, it's a lot of back and forth, a lot of plotting and planning, and then Eventually, we get to some form of game capture. We talk to musicians. We talk to the audio department too to kind of really build together this like cohesive, uh, well-told mini sort of story. Story, yeah. I ultimately, think every trailer has a story, right? Well, ultimately, you could always look at it from a perspective of narrative. And I think if you do look at trailers or any video really under that lens, you tend to find that they'll they'll be better made. Mm -hmm. You know, they'll they'll mm -hmm. just kind of feel more cohesive, more succinct and um, more entertaining, hopefully. So you always got to treat all kinds of videos with that sense of narrative, with that sense of progression. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm loving this live stream so far because I said to Luke, ah, casual live stream tonight, we're gonna, we're gonna do some Let's Play. It's probably <laughs> me jumping, we'll, have, we'll talk about stuff, and it's turned into a really insightful stream about what you do at Frontier. Thank you. So let's keep going with it, it's okay. so wicked. Okay, next thing about video <laughs> is, what's my favorite video at the canteen? Um, <laughs> I think that's a good question. Real good question. Uh, what was the lasagna? The chili was good tonight. The chili was okay, but the, the lasagna is quite good. So there you go. How many stars out of five? Four. Four. But really so, good still. So I'm a harsh critic. <laughs> you are a tough critic. Um, nice t-shirt though. I'm wearing the same thing. Oh, the Thargoid t-shirt. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Con convenient, like because you didn't know you were on a live stream till today. No. Nope. Nope. So it was. It just worked out beautifully. Where are we going? Uh, Nick, right now we're heading away from Beagle Point. I've, I've been traveling, but I have 98 jumps to a destination, which will then get me a little bit closer to Explorer's Anchorage. If I could turn one, I'll give this one for you as well. If I could turn one dinosaur into a spaceship, which dinosaur would you turn into a spaceship? I think, <laughs> this is, I'm going to think long and hard about this. This one, I think I would go with, um, I would go with a Dilophosaurus. Okay. Because one, uh, at least in the Jurassic universe, it can spit stuff. You so could say it could have like solar sails. Yeah, exactly. Here. That, that when it needs to like refuel. Yeah, yeah, it's great. That's it, a good idea. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, talk to people see if we can make it happen. Yeah, I think I think we can get that. What about you? Get though? That going. I mean, uh, we've got to think about it, but I would go for uh, yeah. Pachycephalosaurus. Is that the one with the thumbs? No, no, no. no, no. That's an iguanodon. It's an iguanodon. Um, Pachycephalosaurus is the one with the headbutt thing. Ah, uh, yeah. Like that, so if you could just ram other ships, <laughs> it'd just be a giant dome. <laughs> just that's big metal would, dome here. I mean, that's about as good as I am at Elite. So, like, ram things with a giant dome and then just kind of crush, smash them into smithereens. And that's, it doesn't have any hard points, it just has this big front, this ramp. Yep. It's like Robot Wars at this yep. point. Um, obviously, guys, we can't answer questions about the future of Elite Dangerous. So don't be cheeky and try and get it. Um, Orange Phoenix, hello folks, any chance of improvements to the in-game camera video suite? Not at this time, but it has been voiced before, we're certainly aware of it. Uh, any plans for bobbleheads based on Planco, Plan, Plan Zoo and JWE? Not at the moment. Um, I think it's still within, within what we want to do with Elite Dangerous of not mixing the universes mm -hmm. uh, in that way, so mm. yeah. 
Oh uh, yeah, one of our artists did a very good job with that Elite logo, so they do like to use it. It's really yeah. nice. Yeah. This one's interesting. How many mm -hmm. hours? It really depends. If it's something like a thing. trailer, like a sort of two minute trailer, we're usually putting those together over the course of about, I'd say, four to six weeks. Uh, four to six weeks. That's a rough ballpark. Yeah. It, it totally depends on the scope and the ambition of the project. Mm -hmm. Four to six weeks can be a fairly simple trailer, mm -hmm. or it can be something really, really complex, and it will take us actually more like four months, you know? Yeah. Depending on the kind of plotting, the assets we're going to use, the things we need to build for that's it. That's from start, that's from concept that's to release. That's from concept to, to finish, release, yeah, right, yeah. yeah. So it really, really depends. It's, it's, it's very circumstantial. Uh, how big is the team? It yeah. used to be just one. Yeah. It used to be just me. And it's grown. And now it's grown up to five of us. Yes. That's just video artists. That's and then video we have, artists. We have people yeah. um, in sound as well. Mm -hmm, of who, course, uh, yeah. Handle the sound. We have some really, we have some of the most talented sound designers I think I've ever worked with here. Um, they just, they are just so good, and they make everything. They just elevate everything we put in front of them. It's great. Um, do you have a favorite Elite Angel ship? Yeah, I love some of the new ones, man. They're really good. Crate Phantom. Chieftain, I think. Oh, you like the Chieftain? I love the four engine sort of Yeah, yeah, thing it's got going like on. the Yeah, it's wicked. Turbine things. Yeah, I really exhaust. like that. Um, Before that, I was quite a simple um, Cobra guy, I think. I quite like the simplicity of the Cobra. I thought mm -hmm. it was quite cool. Um, and I did like the Ferdelance as well. Ferdelance. FDL. With its interesting mm -hmm. canopy. The Ferdelance looks great with. Um, uh, the extra, mod you know, they modify the ship kit stuff. Mm -hmm. That's great. It looks really awesome with that. Marketing plug here. You that marketing not, ship. That was not a marketing <laughs> no. plug. You, you get those but ship kits. But please buy the final <laughs> ship kits. Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> ship kits. What's happening? Chieftain's the best, says Orange Spark. Orange Spark does fly Chieftain. Um, will there be any more Commander Chronicles? Can't no say, pal. Nothing to announce Sorry. about that. Uh, Films by Nick had a question. I don't know mm -hmm. if you can answer it, but we're going to try anyway. I assume your toolkit is based on the Cobra engine itself, and you only use things like Blender for 3D logo design in the trailers. Um, that's pretty on the ball. Yeah, so we use uh, lots of cinematic tools that we have built bespoke for the game. Um, and it's stuff that has kind of been within the Cobra engine in general. Uh -huh. um, it's a lot of things that the animators plug tools into for, for us to kind of get those shots. And then things like the logo, yeah, we, we build those in other in other three D models, like engines, um, engines, uh, programs, stuff like Maya and stuff like that. Um, are we quiet, guys? Just want to make sure because uh, people are saying we're in quiet. But I just want to make sure you can hear us, okay, loud and clear. I can shout. No, I can't. My voice <laughs> doesn't go up far enough. Uh, but hopefully cool. you can hear us. Sounds fine to me. It says Commander Wotherspoon. Great. There you go. Um, are there plans to put a larger system, uh, a larger station in the system with the prospect? Uh, not at this time, uh, Arthur. Okay, this is fine, fine. Maybe just on mm. Twitch, we're a little quiet. Who knows? Okay. Who knows? The chief is like a big bear with giant paws. Yeah, it's great. Exactly like it. It's like a big bear. It's <laughs> a big bear. Yeah. Big metallic bear. Yeah, it's great. Have you snuck into a trailer video in terms of Easter eggs, which no one has noticed yet? Yes. <laughs> ah, so there are still things in trailers that someone hasn't noticed. Yep, yet. in a pre-order trailer for Jurassic World, we put in a Diplodocus that no one hadn't spotted until about six months after launch. That was cool. Wow, yeah, um, that's a long time. We have because they get torn apart as well. People go, th like yeah, they yeah, put yeah. it up and they dissect every yep. frame. Yep, and they didn't see it. Yep, fools. It's great. We do like it when you guys catch them though. So are there any Easter eggs out there in current trailers that people haven't noticed yet? Or do you think it, most of them have been covered? Mm. Uh, I think I think that most of them have been. Actually. Most of them have yeah, been. I mean, yeah. you, um, I've seen you browse the Reddits as well. You look at, you look at trailer reactions. Yep. I mean, you take that feedback on board as well. I think we do, yeah, yeah. Everybody, it's worth saying that um, doesn't you don't just sort of make a trailer re and deliver it and we then release it you also take on all the feedback you go through you see what people are saying about it mm -hmm. um, which is I think really really nice yeah we try to 
we do take a lot of feedback uh, to heart and we try to sort of think about ways in which we can best represent the game. Mm -hmm. So we're always got that in mind. And it's actually handy answering questions right now about stuff because it's like, it's yeah, because it gets to kind of um, clear the air on those things. Because one of the, the questions that always comes up is, what are we doing? Are we rendering, pre-rendering stuff or mm -hmm. are we trying to get in-game assets? But yeah, we're always aiming for and mostly always hitting that in-game look and the capture from in-game. Um, Commander Puffler, when's the next Interstellar Initiative coming? That will be in July. We'll have more details about that mm -hmm. um, in the future. But over the next few weeks, we've got uh, player submitted CGs that are launching, so we'll have more details about that too. Cool. Um, oh, I saw the friends list on the deal with Ramtar trailer immediately. Orange Sparks says, yes. Mm -hmm. I remember that. Ed was telling, telling <laughs> me about that. Uh, one thing we like to put in as well is our own commander names when we do trailer stuff as well. So. Uh, I believe Adam Woods has his own uh, commander name. And if you ever see the name Rizzioni in a trailer, that's me. Uh, and I think Boba Flux was always Eddie Simmons. So yeah, there's just, yes, yeah, so whenever just we did the multiplayer stuff, we made our, we used our own commander names. So if you ever see those in the back in the trailers, that's us. So that's sort of just a nice little Easter egg. Yeah. The, these yeah, are the yeah, people yeah. behind it. Yeah. Um, Thank you, Progenerator, Progenitor. I don't know if I can say if I'm saying your name correctly. Uh, I'll take that feedback on board and make sure the development team hear about it. Um, there aren't any plans right now to change uh, the modules that have been introduced with the Insta Initiative, but uh, we're certainly looking. Oh to yeah, feedback. some community names have been in trailers too. Yes, we try to introduce the teams in trailers. As yeah. Well. Yep. Boverflux makes good music too. It's Commander Wotherspoon. He does do music. He does do music. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Wotherspoon knows more about it than I do. Um, now, yeah, so it's worth mentioning, if you are tuning into the live stream, because we're halfway through tonight's live stream already. Time wow. flies. Time flies. OK. Um, but you are Luke Ritson. You are a video ed artist. Yes. We always say editor, but I always say I mean, I it's essentially the same thing. Same thing, but artist yeah. sounds cooler, doesn't it? Editor, motion graphics, all that kind of stuff. And so you're responsible for trailers, um, the live streaming assets mm -hmm. that we do here, there, the starting soon screen, um, some of the transitions to different, um, oh, sorry, I just got distracted by, uh, are we there yet? I've not seen Pigeon John in any videos yet. He's very difficult to work with. Flutters. Yeah, doesn't, yeah, he fluffs all his lines. Um, <laughs> the coup is really hard to say. Bit bird brained, just <laughs> like, yeah. Um, Oh, trailer music. Would you guys like to make Elite Dangerous videos for shots like the community? We do, we have seen a lot of really lovely shot stuff from the community. Mm -hmm. uh, especially using some of the, cin well, not cinematic tools, but definitely the gameplay camera stuff that we yeah. Um Like, it's one of those things where we find the community can best express itself in really cool ways. And they're really often very nice and methodic and really lovely. Uh, really well shot and really well timed, um, but they work in their own their own space. They work within this kind of lovely appreciative moment of the game, mm -hmm. and we try to accommodate a lot of people. And so sometimes that style, sometimes that that method, isn't always perhaps the best way for a trailer to go be mm -hmm. executed. But they are still really beautiful in their own right as isolated videos in their own way. Yeah, so seeing some of the Distant Worlds mm -hmm. videos as well. All oh, those of course, like, you know. Commanders are like launching. Yeah, this, yeah, this and they're amazing, like, yeah. and they're really amazing. Yeah, so we really appreciate those still as well. I think David retweets them all the time as yeah, well. Yeah, so. he loves them, he loves them. Yeah. Um, Spatula has a question, I don't know if we can answer it, it's about music, mm -hmm. but trailer music can be the make or break sometimes. At what point do you do the music? First, last, do you work with composers or find pre-written tra tracks? Uh, it's. Working for trying to find trailer music whilst editing a trailer is the most chicken and egg thing you can do whilst making a trailer. So, because basically, do you start with a piece of music and use that as your foundation? As an editor, that's a really nice way to do something, but at the same time, a composer needs some visuals to work to as well. So, you often use temporary tracks as a foundation, just something for you to work within some bounds because. If you are boundless on something, if you have nothing to really sort of have a pace or, or some good, good something to really time yourself to, then what you'll find is that the trailer itself kind of loses its edge, it loses its pace. So you have to kind of use temporary tracks to help you along the way. 
But then from that point onwards, it does go over to a composer who can then use your visuals and maybe some of that temp track to kind of get a certain beat mm, to it. I see. Um, but sometimes we've, we've had the joy of having something like a really good track already composed for the game mm -hmm. or someone else has already designed something for us that we just go, great, we can just use this right away. And that's really easy and really nice. Um, but for the most part, you are using temp just to kind of get a foundation before you can then polish it with some really lovely work from a, uh, from a musician. Um, I, so when I write things, mm -hmm. I write every now and then, mm -hmm. I listen to music. Is uh -huh. it the same thing when you're, when you're editing and you're getting a trailer ready? Do you uh, listen to music or do you listen to sort of tracks that you think would fit in with the... So a lot of research beforehand, mm -hmm. absolutely. Uh, to edit to music whilst you have maybe another track there? Yeah, it's probably... Definitely not. <laughs> but that's, that's yeah. prior to sound, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, but yes, so you often do a lot of research in terms of what you think the right tone for this piece will be. Um, and that takes, that can take a very, very long time. Um, but you often talk, we have, we have the, um, the audio design team here and they've usually got a bank of stuff that they like to use. They also have some stock libraries that they like to visit as well. And they always, they always present to us like a, an array of selections when we're really struggling to find something. Um, that or we just kind of use uh, stuff that's well known and regarded and then we can use that as a base as well. So for example, on all the Jurassic World stuff, it's been a distinct pleasure of being able to use a lot of like um, the film score as part of your build for a trailer. Mm -hmm. And then you go away and you pass them on that kind of feeling yeah. to uh, to the composer. And the composers are so good, and they're really, really talented people. I mean, uh, many of us say it, and many of the community say it, mm -hmm. uh, as well as the audio, just the audio design here at Frontier oh. for the games. It's yeah, just yeah. impeccable. Yeah, it really it is. is. Just impeccable. Mm -hmm. Oh. Given the popularity of artists like Tom Cook, so Tom Cook is uh, Commander Toko, so and they make. Mm -hmm. um, so if you remember back, cast your mind back to the um, Frontier Extra where we showed one of the Distant Worlds videos, it was the song, Let's Jump Together. Yep. So he's producing uh, music right now. Mm -hmm. um, do you see future tracks being developed directly by artists in the community? Uh, I won't say you can't, no. You can't say no, of course yeah. not. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Like, like if, we, if there's something out there that works, Absolutely, they'll approach people for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, absolutely. I mean, like, I can't see why not, basically. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, you can say, yeah, that's the future. That's <laughs> yeah, how we're yeah. doing. But yeah, yeah, we're going to approach them every time. <laughs> from now on. But there are, yeah. if there are great artists out there who <laughs> pre create great music, exactly. then why, why not? Yeah, yeah, exactly. You don't want to say no to good talent. And that can come from anywhere. So. Can you do a quick flyby shot of Will Ship with the free cam? Oh, man. I don't know. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm not that comfortable with it. This is my personal account, <laughs> and I have been on a long journey, and I do not want to die. Oh, that'd be really funny, though, wouldn't it? Just a flyby if you're going right by into the sun. <laughs> no, my whole trip, my whole being, yeah. these last few months and these live streams, and you destroy it all, so I'm not going to let you, but hey, no worries. one day, one day. We're also used to using, actually, different debug tools, so when we actually capture games, uh, we don't use... Uh, the the inbuilt tools that the community are given. Uh, there are a lot of development tools that we use. This is very similar, and actually the community tools are based on those development debug tools. But we are we do use different tools. So, yeah. Um, the composers we have on the video team at Side I are amazing. Toko Toko so made the audio for the new documentary series intro for me. Yeah, they. Sagittarius Eye and the stuff you guys do is so good. Mm. I said it on Frontier Extra, but it's so good. Um, and I love that I have them on my desk as well. Uh, Darren Stevens says, never made the journey back from Beagle Point after face planting a planet out there. Uh, I'm, I'm on my way. I want to just, I want to hand in this data because then I will be, I will be complete exploration. And then I could just focus on the other two. Nice one. You get to watch me die lots, which you already do see me uh, when I'm not. Um, uh, Obi-Wan says, come on, guys. Stop streaming. I'm not going to say that. Get to work. Fix your game. Bring some end game player interaction. Uh, so it's worth mentioning that I would love, I would absolutely love to be able to develop one day in my life. Uh, but it's not sort of the trajectory I'm, I'm taking in my life. And you are a video artist. 
we cannot develop or program for the game. No. Uh, as a community uh, manager, my job here is to obviously take that feedback, um, but also connect and engage with you guys on these channels um, and yeah. make sure that the development team and all our teams here know how you feel about things. Mm -hmm. That comment, though, can't really help with. Always keep your feedback constructive. Um, yeah. That's, that's all. Yeah. We can't I mean, do much with that. Yeah. That's it. That's it. I'm that's all I'm so going to say. Guys, yeah. I don't usually, don't usually waggle my finger and say, but tonight. <laughs> someone, someone mentions here they when it, this, this is true. When the Force Awakens came out in yeah. cinema, the Elite Dangerous trailer was played in certain certain screens. What? Before the film, and it was awesome. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's really cool. I didn't yeah. even know that. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. That was really great. Which one's Force Awakens? That's um, that's a. Star, Star, Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. But which number is that one? I've lost. I've lost. Um, nine. Seven. 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 Showing my knowledge here. I believe it's episode seven, The Force Awakens. Um, uh, ben Moss Woodward says, "Oh, Luke, go and make some awesome, more awesome videos, which you actually do." Yeah. There you go. I will do. We are. We are constantly making. More awesome videos for you all the time. Episode seven, everyone's correcting me now. Seven, seven, <laughs> seven, seven. Nine, I said. Nine is coming this Christmas. Yeah, that's what I thought. We're gonna go watch it, aren't we, Bob? <laughs> we are gonna watch yeah. it. I'm, I'm. I was a big fan. I'm a big fan. It's the remake of four. It's an in joke between Star Wars fans because they think it's a remake of New Hope. So you're a big Star Wars fan, so that's why sure. you know you're getting all of this. I'm just like, I watched the movies. Uh, you mentioned the debug tools. If I remember correctly, the first version of the camera suit was referred to as the debug camera. That's right. Are you still adding features to your own debug tools? Uh, it depends. Uh, our debug tools are very, very specific to each game. So when we work on other iterations of the Cobra engine for other games, we often iterate upon those previous versions. But for example, capturing something in Elite is very different to capturing something in Jurassic. Mm. You're in a very, very large space, so we have to be able to deal with growing uh, the, the distance of the cameras at almost planetary sizes. Whereas we don't need to do that with Joe. Joe so be a little spec. We can get very, <laughs> very tiny and very, very, very close. Yeah. Um, also, when you're dealing with space, you're also dealing, dealing with three dimensions all the time. So you'll find that simply a, a simple pan across can be as difficult as sort of can be the most difficult thing you can do because you're often panning at a different angle to where the ship is heading. Yeah. So those things need to align correctly as well. So what you find is that each game has its own separate ways of dealing with those debug tools. Yeah. Uh, Reginald Barbosa says, any news about Xbox game not connected to the server? Uh, I've been on this live stream, so I haven't heard about that, but I will check after this stream to make sure that our um, Xbox servers are optimal. Um, if you can't connect and mm -hmm. they are optimal, uh, reach out to our customer support team. I loved the Planet Co the Planet Coaster Ghostbusters video. Nice. Brought back many happy memories. Great. Phil Coots. Phil Coots. Do you wish that sometimes you could use a dev kit to control will and camera? Um, to stop me dabbing, perhaps? I don't know. I, I think that those tools would be constantly buggy and always broken, I'm afraid. Just, I accidentally made him dab. Oh, <sighs> not again. <laughs> Who knows? I might well be in control of him right now. Can you hear that noise? That's the air conditioning. Yeah, that's Can anyone hear that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's why it was off. That's why it was sweltering in this room. Is VR used at all in the process of making videos? No, but we have used, and I can't remember the name of it, it's a very fun tool called, <laughs> basically it's a head tracking tool. Mm -hmm. So we've been able to sort of place a kind of an infrared uh, sensor mm -hmm. on top of the monitors. You attach a receiver on the side of your um, on the side of your headphones, and you are then able to essentially, when you head look, the game follows you too. So we were able to do captures oh, for yeah, the game really cool. with a more natural looking head look. So to make it feel a bit like VR, but without necessarily having to capture in VR, which is an entirely different process. Uh, I need to make you dab. Um, I feel like we need a discovery scanner on video artistry and building, like, looking at how we built an Elite Dangerous trailer or something. I'm going to bank that one. Okay. Probably not sweet. 
because it would be too close to similar. <laughs> we'll probably be discussing similar yeah. things <laughs> maybe in the future. Um, Darren Stevens says, love the latest CG, by the way. Managed to meet up some of our new squadron members while swinging up. Awesome. Cool. Nice. If you can make a freely a three to five minute video for Elite, what would you do? If I can make a, if I could freely make one. Freely make it, no constraints. This is your dream one. <laughs> um, has anyone seen Carl Sagan's Pale Blue Dot? I would probably try to make something like that. That would be really wicked to use like some of his voice over it, and like just show beautiful shots of Elite, and I, something like that. I think. I don't know. Well, if for those who do, I would, I would use that as my base, his speech on that, and then we would try to get some of the most beautiful shots I could probably find for Elite. Maybe some lovely planet-sized stuff. Millstone Barn says, really now do it. Now do it. Okay. Now do it. Uh, who would that better, Will or the Incredible Hulk? Professor Hulk would be the Credible Hulk? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on. What are you talking about? Want? I don't know what the pale blue dot is over there. He's pointing here. I think it's over there. Over there. Second star on the road and <laughs> straight on to a morning. <laughs> um, do you real use real locations for react backgrounds? What has been the most aesthetically pleasing location to shoot at in game for you? Oh man. We have a bank, right? So we have a we have a document and one thing I like when the one thing I like that the community sometimes does is sometimes they'll name where they've gone for a screenshot, and then I just bank it immediately. <gasps> um, we just go, that's cool. So we're gonna we're gonna use this. Sorry to interrupt you. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna show everybody how um, I neutron star jump, and I'm really bad at this. Are you about to blow up? No, but you have to be careful. I can't wait to see this happen. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna overcharge. I'm gonna slow down. Everyone, this is why I just need absolute silence. I mean, you can continue. Cool. Oh, I've, uh, I've messed it up, so we're going to just fly by. You, you, can, you can continue. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, so yeah, continue whatever you were saying, because sure, I'm going to focus no purely on this yeah, yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, if you're in, if you're in a attack mode. Um, are there any Easter eggs on ED? Can you give us a hint? I can't. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Uh, Carl Sagan, one word, Cosmos. I love the way Carl Sagan says the word human. He says it like human, 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 human conceits. Um, have you had, have you seen Time Lapse of the Future by Melody Sheep? I'm afraid of not, sorry. It's on YouTube. Yeah, we'll, watch, we'll check that out. We'll, we'll be dead in one minute. Doing video for a faction, what advice would you give? Um, hey, so a great question. Yeah, a video for a faction. So this is like, oh, it depends so on the context, really. Do you want to sell the faction? Do you want to kind of be like, join right. our faction? Or is it that it's kind like of thing? a narrative one? Or yeah. What's your faction do? Yeah, is it a story maybe? of someone in the faction? Because then you could turn it into sort of anything. I like the idea of kind of like, if you've ever seen Starship Troopers, would you like to know more? Kind of like that kind, yeah. of, <laughs> that kind of thing for, uh, for, for your a faction, faction could be quite good. You yeah, know? it'd be awesome. Depending on whether or not it's like a sort of semi-dystopian future for your faction or not. But yeah, think about always think about the tone and the um, and kind of like the themes of your faction, and then kind of build it around that. Um, I'm doing this so slowly, yeah. but I'm just nervous. Right, everyone, here we go. Slow down, we'll be going too fast. Yeah, I know. Here we go, I'm in. Yep, S frame shift drive supercharged. Well done. So now we're gonna jump, jump 248 light years. Is this where you explode? No, I'm all done. Oh. It's all safe. Okay. I'm, I'm a master at this now. Uh, well, not, I'm not uh, a master at How do I decide what ships to include in the trailers? It's mostly a case of what are our favorite runs mixed with, uh, is there anything new coming out? So you put in something. We usually like to hero the, 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 something, something that's new. But uh, usually it's also a mixture of what we feel. Uh, a tiny bit of rule of cool mixed with a sum of our in-game knowledge. So, you know, we're not going to sort of have a couple of sign winders just blow up an anaconda yeah but we will kind of have a somewhat sometimes we have kind of gone a bit uh, on sort of a uh, rule of call on some things before. but yeah philip coots asks an interesting question here how far in advance do you make a trailer ahead of launch just wondering how hard it is to keep a secret it varies doesn't it uh keeping secrets is is fine but it's more like the making the trailers ahead of launch um any game that is in mid-development before it's even had its first iteration launched mm -hmm. is very tricky to work with. Everyone can attest to that. So you always build 
and you always try to plan your trailers as, as meticulously as possible along with the dev build cycle as well so when things are ready at their end you can then start to build them at your end too um, it's, it's the most sane way to build a trailer but it's always very um, very challenging but ultimately very rewarding to build something especially for a launch trailer as well launch trailers are very precious to us we like making those and um, they're always big significant events for everyone when we, when we build them so yeah Orange Park says you're coming to LaveCon, Luke. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> but there will be other people there too. Yeah, yeah there'll be plenty of fun people there. Yeah. Um, what my favourite ships? Uh, well, like I said, I like the Ferdelance and I like the um, Chieftain. Mm -hmm. um, I like the Mamba. Mamba's great. Mamba's, That's a lovely new ship yeah. too, yeah. It's shiny. Yeah, I do shiny love the design shiny. of the new ships. They are great. Um, and, Cobra. Uh, Cobra's cool, yeah, love yeah. Cobra. Um, and you know what I did like uh, the uh, oh, what's it called? It's the Federal Corvette. Federal Corvette. That's just a big fun. It does feel like it's just a big capital ship, you know. It's good fun. Also, one of my fun one fun experiences we had was capturing the multi seat version of that, and we had three people around to capture that. So someone in the gunner, someone doing the pips, and someone else was flying, mm -hmm. and it was just a lot of fun. That was actually like having. Did you have to sit? To do it. Did you have? How were you communicating at that time? Shouting loudly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically one wanted to hear one person there, one person That's there. That's great. Yeah, it's really good. Sort of, did it feel like you were in a ship? Roughly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're all gonna <laughs> die. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> my favorite power leader in the game. I mean, so how? What is your knowledge on elite engine? You've uh, worked, there's, you worked there's, on there's it. A, there's a chap called Hudson. I know that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He, he looks like Martin Sheen. I like him. <laughs> oh, that's why I like him. They so Hudson. Hudson, yeah, is yeah, your, yeah. Uh, Hudson is your go-to guy. Okay. Yeah. Good to know. Mm -hmm. uh, Philip Coots, naughty, naughty. Nice try. Nerd war in the office. Often. Uh, do you mean Nerf war? Nerf war. Because we haven't done that in a very long time. Yeah, I mean, I used to do a lot I'm of retired. Nerf wars. <laughs> <laughs> That'll bring me out of retirement. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I Van Cho says I will buy the Anaconda, maybe tonight. 165 million credits. Good for you. You should get it mm -hmm. if you want it. But bear in mind, modules can be pricey. Have right? you made any goof off videos? Uh, yes. So when we do dev diaries, I save all the outtakes. Another one. Another one. You right. might be going too fast. Um, find out. So uh, for dev diaries, yes, I save all the outtakes, all the silly little bits and pieces. And then sometimes if we have the time we will put those together for people to kind of mostly at the end of the year to kind of say hey we had fun making this along the way um so here you go and we have sometimes put those out at the, on the 24-hour live stream we have seen outtakes for like planet coaster for example those are gone oh no i thought i was going to do it really nice there uh, i didn't here we go again uh, the you did the outtakes uh, of the of the live stream preparations for the twenty four hour live stream. Yeah. Oh, but um, those ones was actually uh, <gasps> was Sam it? Cox. Oh. But, but I did put together the uh, all of the uh, so the uh, the, the reveals. Games. The oh, no, the reveals, no. but the, the games that they played. So the spell of dinosaur. Ah, uh, uh, yes. The yeah. guess, guess the guess the building, and then finally uh, the blindfold challenge through the elite um, through the letterbox. Which, fun, which one person did. One, one person, person did. did. It was fun, and she won. Yeah. She still has the trophy on her desk. So there yeah. we go. Okay, we've done it. I'm really worried right now. Don't know why. That's probably. Ben Rosswood would. I, uh, I love the Booper videos too. Sagel does good ones, most of which are me. Great. That's lovely, dude. You're very. Uh, I imagine, um, Ben, that you're very blooper, blooperful. Do we have a gag reel for trailers? Um, Sometimes things go wrong, and they are fun, but we only ever share them internally. <laughs> um, the uh, things like Planet Coaster and JWE, when things went wrong, they went hilariously wrong, but we could never, ever, ever show them to you. I'm and afraid. it's sort of, yeah. Um, Dinosaurs doing strange things. Yes, pretty much, yeah. Um, but yeah, which are there for our viewing only. Yeah. Although I bet all of you guys would love to see them. So anyway, yeah. stop teasing them. Yeah, I've got some good ones too. Oh, well. Um, I'm afraid Can not. we see them, please? I'm, I'm afraid not. <laughs> uh, maybe Planet Coaster ones eventually, and Planet Zoo ones if it ever happens, but we can't do JWE ones because, yeah. 
Um, Will, have you seen Machine One, uh, Machine's new video? He did a great take on starting the game with Elite Dangerous. I haven't seen it. I will check it out. Absolutely. Always appreciate people who do uh, tutorial stuff too. Yeah. It was really good fun. It's, it's really good. Um, we love seeing that. I think Bog Nose uh, recently started some. Mick DC. Yeah, something like that. Something like that? Something like that. Um, I have nothing to announce about Expo right now. I'm wondering if we should raid someone playing Elite Dangerous. Whoa! That's the uh, throttle. My ship's th throttle. Who are we, who are we playing with? <laughs> uh, no, we haven't replaced the fluff for sounds with fart sounds, I'm afraid. <laughs> I mean, now that you've said that, I don't really mar I don't really like that kind of comedy, but I think it would be funny to see. Twenty four hour live stream, make it happen. No, I don't think we can. Right. We are going we are we gonna do this? We're gonna raid. We're gonna raid Malik. Right now. In about five minutes, guys, we're gonna raid Malik VR. If you're on Twitch, we're gonna go and say hello. Um, Luke, thank you so much uh, for coming along to the live stream tonight. Oh, and talking pleasure. about video, video editing, video artistry. Oh, well, um, I hope you guys enjoyed or got or gleaned some information out of any of those answers. Um, it's always a lot of fun to make these for you guys. So. Yeah, I think we have we have lots of we have got lots of budding um, sort of video makers out there in the community who are doing all sorts of things. I really like the fact that. Um, I f forgot the name, so forgive me, but the guy who asked about making a faction video, I really yeah, like yeah. seeing that stuff. It's like, yeah. okay, how do I make a really good video? And it just means that one day, we're gonna have to get one of the video uh, artists on and uh, piece by piece come apart their trailer and yeah. talk about how they go through it. That'd be great. Uh, Commander Thatcher, no, thank you so much. Uh, yeah. Why don't I know cinematics in Elite? Um, I think it's because that's the tone of the game. I think, uh, we have chances to do cinematic stuff outside of it, but uh, within Elite itself, it's very much uh, you're in the seat of this thing, so it's your own personal experience. That's what we want. Yeah. Um, right, folks, uh, we've made progress, and I've I've been kind of on autopilot, sort of jumping. Uh, I'm still a very far, very far from Explorers Anchorage. I'm not even on the right route right now. I'm kind of drifting towards it. Uh, it's it's going to be a long trip. Where are we? How many jumps? Let's find out. Tuned in from a holiday site in Somerset for this one. Great stream. Well, thanks. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Zizzy, 3,000. 69 jumps left. And uh, where are we? <laughs> Let's find out. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. This is what's happening. I'm falling apart now. I've, lo I've left autopilot. I was like, ah, oh, the buttons. <laughs> Uh, we've got a long way to go. We are going all the way here, and then back to Earth. We're going all the way here, eventually. It's going to be a long, long trip. That is. Um, so, folks, 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 thank you so much for joining us tonight for our um, kind of casual Let's Play Elite Dangerous live stream, which turned into Let's Make Some, like, how do we make yeah. cool videos, and I really liked that. Great. It was a, a yeah. quite a surprise. It wasn't what we were originally planned for, but um, it's really nice that you guys had some awesome questions. Cool. Uh, Dunkel or ask, are we there yet? We are not. We're gonna we're gonna try and raid Malik though. Uh, I'm really bad at this, so we're gonna try our best. I believe um, that the internet can help us. I don't know how we do it on. Uh, and yeah, thank you guys for your questions. It was really good fun to answer them, actually. Uh, that was real nice. Thanks, Luke and Will. Thanks to from all of the folks out there. Yeah, thanks to, to you guys dropping by. I'm gonna figure out how to, how do we raid? Because I'm learning to internet. I don't think we can do it, but I don't think we can do it from restream. Millstone. Ah. So that's I'm just making sure. I, I do I have to go on my own dashboard? Will it show up? Here we go, let's find out. Right, we're going to do it. We're going to raid Malik VR. Guys, thank you so much for joining us tonight. It will end 
uh, the stream on Twitch, and we will be ending on YouTube right now. So, Luke, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you us. very much. Thank you. And we will see you all very soon. Yes, yeah, see you at LaveCon. Um, it's worth mentioning, I won't be here next week, but Paige will be handling the live stream, so you will see her. Great. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.